is Father Ken Lau and welcome to the new episode of Nuggets for the Soul. June 13 is the feast day of Saint Anthony of Padua and he is one of my favorite uh, saints and he's known as the patron saint of lost items. So when something gets lost, we pray to Saint Anthony of Padua and he will help us find it. And But he's also the patron saint of amputees. And I will... Some people think that Saint Anthony is Italian. But actually, he was born in an influential family with the name Ferdinand in 1195 in Portugal. At the age of 15, he, he moved to join this uh, Augustinian religious order near Lisbon, and he lived a life devoted to God. He, Saint Anthony was also known to have this natural ability to speak passionately about the Word of God and to draw large crowds. You know, there was one time wherein uh, he was once faced a large crowd that was ordered to ignore him, St. Anthony decided to preach to the fish in the river. Suddenly, thousands of fish surrounded St. Anthony, pushing their heads up as though trying to hear his words. St. Anthony also is uh, also known as the miracle worker. Okay, so three unknown miracles of St. Anthony, and I'm reading this from the website ioamoyesu.com, article written by the Monica in the Urato, first miracle, the child who speaks. This is a story of a family from Ferrara. In this family, the miracle of life has just happened. The woman has just given birth, but the husband does not want to hold or know anything about the creature. He fears that son is not his and that it is the fruit of a betrayal. St. Anthony decides to take the little one in his arms and tell him in the name of God, who is the real father? Miraculously, the child looks at the man and tells him in a clear voice that he is the real father. So, St. Anthony hands him over to his father and tells him to love his family and take care of it. Okay. The second unknown miracle is the bread of the poor. Tomasino, he was just 20 months old, when his mother, after leaving him alone, found him drowned in a, bowl of, in a bowl of water. In desperation, the woman invokes the help of the saint, promising him that if she had brought her son back to life, she would have given the poor so much bread as the weight of the newborn. Tomasino miraculously reopened his eyes, and the woman kept her promise. The third unknown miracle is the foot reattached. This is the story of Leonardo, a man from Padua, who confesses to St. Anthony, that he had kicked his mother and that his foot deserves to be cut off instantly. As he gets home, filled with remorse, he decides to cut it off really. Okay? So the news soon made the rounds reaches the ears of St. Anthony. He decides to go to the young man's house and after an oration, joins the leg to the severed foot, making the sign of the cross. So the foot, as for miracle, it fastens to the leg and the man, full of happiness, thanks God, and the saint. Okay, so I hope uh, we grow in our devotion to St. Anthony, not just to find some lost items, but also uh, to ask for his intercession for miracles to happen in our lives. God bless. The living saint, Jesus Mary Joseph, we trust in you.